Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! That is insane! Oh, I'm so sorry. Let's set him up. Woo! With catch him off fishing with Zach. Ketchum. Look at this fish! Oh my god! Catch him off. Guys, you're not gonna believe it. These two catfish were fighting. Now they're both wild caught catfish, Badly. which is why I have them in this temporary nice. pool. This Fish was a pool, out. we just got rid of oh it, and we put God. our catfish over here. Now they're Stop both that. super happy, both oh, eating, oh, but oh they started God. fighting oh today. I noticed that one was in a oh super shallow God, area fighting. of the pond. Now, oh I kept them away from our other fish, and our other fish are over here in this one pool. As you can see, all different species, including the species over there, red tail and a super hybrid catfish. The super hybrid we just caught and is about almost four feet long, it's 42 inches. And that's even bigger than the red tail. We have some giant fish in here. Let's see, even with the glare, you can probably see. There's a lot less glare on this side. You can see it's just stay wide on the catfish and all these koi and everything right in the middle. These guys all pretty much eat out of my hand and they're all eating in harmony and living in harmony. They're very, very big fish, but the catfish over there that's bullying the others is, is just huge. These fish are beautiful and they're really big and they're all living in harmony. Now every once in a while they get spooked just like anything else. But what I saw is these two fish fighting. So I can walk in the water with this other catfish and he follows me around and he eats out of my hand. He's an amazing fish, but I think I'm gonna have to take him out and put him with the Paku. Come on up here, Tim, because I wanna show you guys I want to see if he'll attack him again. Honestly, it was pretty freaking nuts. Now this fish is right here. You come on over here, actually. He's sitting right here. Take your time, take your time. I don't want you to go in. But this other catfish is straight up and down. He's right here in the shallow. Can you see him? Can you see that guy? Yeah. He's sitting right there. I mean, we can get right on top of him and he's not gonna move no matter what. And that's because he's afraid. He's not moving at all. <laughs> He's, he's sitting right there, but unfortunately, we had a literal shark, which I love. I mean, this guy is like a shark, like for real. He's sitting right here. He's sitting right here. Look at this, right here. Now the water's murked up because they were fighting, but the second I do that, any type of splash, he comes right up. Look at this, look at this. He's waiting for some food. He's like so pissed and nuts. The only issue is this guy, unfortunately it's pushed up into the shallows which is fine he can sit there and chill if he wants to but that other catfish is not letting him live his life so I want to show you guys what happens when they get close come on bud. come on now follow him follow him now he's going by the other catfish let's see if he gets pushed back look immediately immediately fighting again the other catfish is literally pushing it. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! It just... It, it, that is... That is insane! He, they're over here now. I see the hybrid was right here. And he pushed up the other catfish way over here. Now the other catfish is a red tail and they can get aggressive but I've never seen them like super, super hyper aggressive, like I've seen most of these hybrids. That is ridiculous. But, and now he's sitting over here, come on, come on this side. I can see the red tail is sitting right on the shoreline right there, right where that leaf, you can't, it's hard to tell, right over there. Now, last time I was just chilling out here, he moved to that same spot and this guy found him, pushed him completely up out of the water and then he swam back over there. So the reason that giant red tail is in the shallow water is not because he wants to be, it's because he's being forced by this other catfish. Oh my God, again, the Lord, he got pushed up. The other catfish just ran and grabbed him and pushed up the, the red tail over here again. What the heck? So now the red tail is back in the shallows, uncomfortable in this little shallow part of the pond, which is fine. They can normally, I, they do sunbathe and I have seen them even when they're released in the wild. I even caught one not too long ago with Robert, just a giant one in, in, and it was sun, it was like in shallow, shallow water where it gets warm. Now he's over here again. What the heck dude, this guy is nuts. 
what I think I might have to do is I'm gonna give this guy some TLC and take him and I have that empty pond right now that I had the Paku in so I think I'm gonna take this guy out and I think I'm also gonna take the hybrid out too I take him put him with the other fish and then I'm gonna take all the other fish and place them back here I think that's probably the best way to handle things this guy's right here you can see that that just gets straight deep it's a lot of muck that's gonna be gone the sand and silt that all sink with that muckness and that, all that stuff that's creating all that disgusting non-water clarity that's gonna be gone so I'm gonna take this guy the other guy is nuts he's like just feeding over there huh the ducks are going <laughs> So this guy is so afraid of that fish that I am right here. This is a wild caught catfish. Now we spent some time together. I think it's probably been a month or two, but it's not like this guy should be so used to me that I can just stand right here with him. You know, and I just gave him a push. Last time I gave him a push over there, the other catfish taught him a lesson. Now I would love to leave them all in here together. That catfish is just so nuts. Like I said, I think I'm gonna have to take him out, put him by the Paku because that fish will not bully a Paku. The only thing is, that fish has not bullied any of the koi. He's not like a murderer, just tycoon. It's also a territorial thing with the, his own species. So I think if I get that fish out, all those other fish seem to be intermingling and just chilling. Now, I kind of want to see if I put this guy with the other fish, if they'll have an issue as well. I do have friends like Chandler, Blake, Raw Fishing, you know, even Bobby up there. There's a lot of people that would take this catfish, but I think, what I'm gonna do is just see how he intermingles with other fish first. That guy is sitting right there, he's so pissed. I wanna see what's going, why that's happening. Is it just on site? Look, he's over here. He stopped right there. The other catfish is looking at him. Is this just like an on site, like, is it territorial straight? Look, he's going over there. And that was an immediate beef now? Immediately. Immediately turns around and comes back. The other fish is on his tail. He's biting his tail. The other fish is right here on him. All right. So this catfish is right here, right next to me. And the other fish is like, hell no. Catfish is coming back towards me now because he's like, hell no. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this guy out. Pass me that net really quick. The catfish is going nuts. He just, he does not want to share his food or territory at all. So let me go ahead and put you in here, buddy. I know you don't like that. I know you don't like that. But he can't be with other fish. He just cannot be with other fish. The other fish just hates him. Oh my God. I'm just going to let him chill here for a second before I move him. A massive fish. Oh my god! Ah. Relax, buddy. Relax. 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 Don't break my freaking skull either. Oh my god! Talk about mud. That Fokker Fonk is going to look like a like mud pit in a minute. Okay, buddy, you done? Wow. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. But he's bit up a little bit. Yeah, it's time to move him. Looks like his tail is actually just bought the bottom of his tail. It's bit so hard it's broken right here. If you zoom into this, hold on a second. The bottom of his tail is actually cracked. This is a little bit of a bone right here. He was bit so hard by the other catfish. Can you see that? Can you see that? Barely. There we go, yeah. Right here, it was cracked by the other catfish. You could tell he was bit right here. Now this is a fresh bite. That sucks, but that'll heal back. But I do have to keep him out. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep him with the other fish, see how he does, see if this is just like, maybe this particular fish that all the fish don't like, 
because there is that other species over there so let's go ahead and take them out best we can relax a little bit oh my god Ugh. yeah i'm sorry buddy i know come on come on come on camera wow what Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Wow. Okay, 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 okay. Don't want his fins to get tangled up in the net. That's why I'm putting pressure on him that way. Dude. You can see where that catfish bit him on the fence too. I know. So he's completely he healthy. I mean, it's hard to hurt a catfish like this in general. I was planning on putting all of my red tails initially with my Paku, but I think that's gonna have to change because of that absolute monstrosity. Now we just measured this guy. Do it again really quick. This guy is huge. This guy is easily three feet. So we gotta go back and measure till four and a half on this. Okay, I'm gonna do that really quick after we put him in the water. These guys can stay out of the water for like five hours. I wouldn't test it, <laughs> but supposedly. If you keep them upright and you lift them slowly, you support their belly, they usually give you a little bit of leeway, so. You don't want to get shanked by this bad boy. Okay. Oh, oh! I wasn't the most graceful. He was very aggravated from that other catfish. Him being in here with these other fish, only time will tell how they all inter, inter, intermingle. There is another catfish the exact same size. I said there's actually two. So we'll see how they do. And everything looks pretty good. The red tail is right here is a little bit lighter in coloration because he was out of the water. But he's coming back. All these other guys are lined up. We've had no problems with any of the red tails in here. And we have a hybrid, and we have a Marble Akara hybrid, and we have a Ripsaw. We have pretty much everything in here. Now, we do have a hybrid in here who comes up in the same general mannerism as the other fish. This is the fish we just, really, he just literally swam to me and cuddled up. He's like, dude, please, not another blue. I know you can't see him very well, but he's right here, right here doing great. Now, these fish don't have slime coats. They don't feel like sandpaper like sharks. They're not gonna hurt you if you touch them, but it kind of feels like a skin texture. He's right there by you. That's the one that we just put in there with that nip tail. Feeling with everybody, he's kind of feeling everybody out. The other red tails are swimming with him. Looks great. I love having that one fish just chilling in there like it has been, but I'm gonna have to put him with the Paku because the Paku are the only ones that are thick enough with them necks that are not just gonna take that abuse. Honestly, with the mega net, I don't see how he could escape. Got mega net. Where are you? Where are you, buddy? He's right here somewhere. I know it. But they just went crazy. This pond was like crystal clear this morning. I could see right to the bottom, even without adding the muck away yet. <laughs> and in a month, it's gonna be just crystal clear, pristine, as good as it will be in the lake. So he's right here somewhere. I just saw some, some kick up. Unfortunately, I have to kind of bait him. Come on. It's like a shark, dude. Right here, just swam around. The shadows kind of give it away, though. He was just here. Right there here you now. Go. He might have swam in the net. He might have swam around it. Nope, he's in the net. Awesome. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I know, I know you're doing so well. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, that sucks, dude. It sucks to have one train like this that does so well following you around the whole pond. Now I gotta give him a whole new habitat. But at the same time, he did the same thing in that other pond that we just got rid of but only like a week ago and he's doing just fine. So he was able to acclimate. Same thing, I'm just gonna switch nets so I don't destroy mega nets. And also so his fins don't get stuck in there. I'm 
sorry, but I know. I know this sucks. But you terrorize everybody. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. You can't live in peace and harmony. Come on. Uh, back over there. Alright, I don't know what to do with you. I'm so sorry. I might have to just lift them up and deal with them out. God. Such a beautiful big fish. I don't want to hurt your fins, buddy. I know. I know. I know. Uh, okay. Main thing is you don't want to hurt their tail. You don't want to hurt their tail and you don't want them to hit their head. One, two. Oh my god! Oh. Come on. Shoulder raises. Oh. Wow. Such a big fish. Such a fat fish. Okay. Tail's good. Hey, buddy, it's me. I know. I know. It's us again. Doing our thing. Pissed. And now you're in the back part of this net. Okay, how do we do this? Okay. Good on that side, right? Yes. Coming out. Don't roll yet. Almost got you. Good boy. Good boy. Look, he actually has some cuts from the other catfish as well. Yep. Yep, like last time. Last time. Yep. Yep. Just like that, almost. One more. Just got to get you going the other way. Come on. Whiskers out. No whiskers are harmed. And then head first. Slide out. Boom, just like that. Whew, okay. Now I gotta keep it moving. He got a little bit cut from that other cat. Oh my gosh, come over here. Check this out. So when he was fighting that other catfish, other catfish self-defense is their pectoral fence. Look at his face. Right here, he has a cut from the pectoral fin of that other catfish and another nick on his head. Now it's very solid, very solid fish but you can see where they're fighting is not a good thing. Soft right here, soft tissue on both sides. That's where they smell. But these guys, when they taste the water and there's their nostrils. Okay, so now I gotta get this beautiful, beautiful big fish. I gotta get him in that other pond. I gotta be smart about it. Everything is soft over here, so it should be good. Come on, come on. Come on, buddy. Don't kick. He does kick. Just gonna go straight down. He does so well with me. I love this fish. Okay. Okay. I'm into the water we go. Alright, Timmy, go ahead and go on the bridge. Okay. He trusts me, man. This fish trusts me. Oh, oh! Right when I said that. I know. I know. So this pond was crystal clear as well, but like I said, those fish just went crazy and mucked up everything. We gotta take these fish apart, separate them. Paku by themselves are nuts. They need to be freaking isolated by themselves. If they're not, they will chew through everything. I was not expecting him to be as aggressive, but he was a wild caught fish. And I did keep him in that pond with the other koi even with that other red tail, they are perfectly fine for a long time in that smaller space, which was, I think it was like a nine by 14 foot pool. And I saw them fight here and there, but it wasn't anything serious like it was in this other pond. So hopefully that cures it by separating all those fish and they can do much better together. I know this guy will basically have this whole pond to himself as a catfish, which is huge. Haku just don't mess with hybrid catfish. That's the tiger chauvinos uh, red tail mix. And they don't mess, mess with just red tails in general. Now I've heard red tail catfish doesn't taste good. <laughs> and that could be why they don't actually harass them because I know purebred tiger shovel nose i heard they do taste good in brazil and i know paku will shred those guys i got these paku in here they were all eating it was crystal clear this morning and then those catfish started fighting it was absolutely nuts 
on this video we we're able to show you how you need to separate different fish just in general you know you can't keep an antelope in a lion enclosure that's all there is to it he's absolutely chilling doing his thing got all his color back he's not fighting with the other fish only time will tell obviously he's a little tired from being caught in there and put over here but i mean he's chilling i mean come on stop it look at this immediately this is the first day that oh he just bit his tail oh he bit his tail oh i gotta take him out what the hell dude what a nut job so I just put this guy into this tank and now he's bullying this fish. It might be him who's the problem this whole time. Look at him. What are you doing? Do you have the other fish? No, he has his mouth open and he's just bullying him. What the heck, dude? I just saw him pop him with his mouth too. I just took him out to see how he would do with these other fish and he's really pissing me off. Now this is a fish I was gifted that my friend Rob caught and he's being a bully now he tried to bully the other monster glizzy gobbler over there mr glizzy mr glizzy kicked his butt so i had to move mr glizzy out of his tank over to the other one and now this guy's acting nuts it's really really big so now i gotta get him over into this pond that has nothing in it because he is just an aggressive monster let me go one two yeah that's right your daddy is a big strong man. Come on. I know. I know. I know. Well, that's what happens. You're cruel and unusual. I don't understand what you you do too much. I know, buddy. I'm sorry. I realize it wasn't your fault. You forgive me? Here, let me sit down with you. You okay? You're still a tank. Things like a killer whale. Literally looks like a shark moving in here still love me i know we're gonna clarify all this water for you too yeah good boy catch him up Woo! catch him up